Saima Anjam, congratulations on being one of our 40 under 40s. What does it mean to you to be a rising star? Oh, wow. Well, first of all, thank you so much. Um, a rising star. Well, I think uh, I really appreciate that recognition. I think that we've all done a lot of really great work in the Capitol and beyond, and um, it, it feels good. How has this year been for you as, as an environmental advocate? Uh, has this been a, a rewarding session, a frustrating one? I think we'll see. So the end of session is still yet to come. We've got a couple more days, but, um, but so far so good. You know, we've seen some movement on some things. There's, uh, there's a lot of momentum going on some of these other projects that I'm working on, like the Child Safe Products Act. We've got two more, two more days to get it passed in the Senate, and um, I'm really hopeful that we can do it given you know, we've got 40 co-sponsors on the bill and it seems to be a common sense measure and I'm not quite sure why it hasn't come to the floor yet, but I hope, I hope it does soon. What is it that you think makes for an effective advocate in Albany? It can seem like such a difficult process to navigate, so frustrating at times. What is, what is your approach? I think that you know you just have to be friendly and you have to be able to talk to everybody and anybody. Um, you know, just keep putting yourself out there, keep talking to people, learn the rules, learn the rules of uh, the Senate, the Assembly, what's actually going on, and the procedures and why things happen and when things happen, and and just be aware. So it's not about threatening people and blackmail and stuff like that. That's that's <laughs> not how I would put it. No. <laughs> and and what advice would you give to somebody who was looking to undertake a career in politics as a rising star? What kind of advice would you impart? Uh, definitely think about what you're getting into, but also you know I think it's enjoyable, and I think that you can be great at it if you enjoy it. And um, you know you have to you have to enjoy getting out there and talking to people and learning about um, new ideas and new concepts that you haven't you haven't thought of and you know working with others you learn a lot too so you have to make sure you open yourself up to that and what is it about this about your work that that keeps you engaged in it day to day i feel really connected to it i mean toxics are an issue they're just everywhere we're surrounded by toxins and it, it doesn't make sense to me you know it, it seems like it should be really easy to turn off that toxic tap but unfortunately um, we haven't been so quick to do it you know we're seeing we're seeing a rise in childhood cancers and that's really unfortunate and it's a problem that we can solve and it because it doesn't make sense because it seems like it should be so easy to take care of it seems like that's what keeps me engaged. You know, we're we're trying to address a problem that can be taken care of, and and we should be able to do it. But the reason it doesn't get done seems like probably because there are very powerful interests that are trying to keep it in, as the status quo. Do you ever feel like the uh, David fighting Goliath? I think that change is hard for a lot of people to accept. I think it's going to come. Um, sometimes I feel that way, but. But you know, I know that I'm on the right side of things and, and that, that helps too. And what has been your proudest day so far in your work in politics and government? Oh, there, there have been a lot of um, victories that I've been really glad to be a part of. Um, a couple of years back, we passed the Electronic Waste Recycling Act and I was so glad to be able to play a part in that. Um, that was a really huge win for New York State. We have, um, you know, electronics that you dispose of. You don't know where to. You don't know where to send them off to die. But um, but this bill kind of helped or gave people um, a place where they could learn. You know where they could drop off their products. And you know a lot of these products contain toxics in them, um, like uh, heavy metals and other. And, and other like flame retardants uh, that we didn't want leaching out into the environment. So this is a good way to take care of that problem. So that was a pretty that was a pretty great day. So congratulations on this honor, very well de deserved, and best of luck to you in your work. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time here.